All right, this is the grade five math practice test for TN Ready. Question number five, this is no calculator. What is the value of the digit seven when 2.7 is multiplied by 10 to the second power or 10 squared, whatever you want to say there. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the 10 squared business. Really, this, by the way, looks like this. So it's essentially just scientific notation but 10 to the second power uh, raising numbers to a power means that they're multiplied by themselves a specific number of times so 10 times 10 or yeah 10 times 10 I'll put the X there 100 so really they want to know okay 2.7 is multiplied by 100 and then they want to know something about what's the value of 7 now when I multiply by any of the 10 to those, I just sort of count the zeros. So in this case, I'd have 2, or I could do 2 here, and I'm going to move the decimal. When I'm multiplying by a positive exponent on that 10, it means I'm going to have a larger number. So if you end up with the 7 is somehow of a lower value, a place value than it was when you started, something's gone wrong because it's 10 to the positive 2. If it's 10 to the negative 2, we're going to go in the different direction. But if I start with 2.7, I'm going to move it two spaces, and if I want it to be bigger, it needs to go to the right. If it would be smaller, it would go this way because it would be 0.2, which is quite small. So I'm going to go 1, 2, put my 0 there, and so my final adjusted number becomes 270. Now, but that doesn't answer the question. The question is, what's the value of the 7? Well, fortunately for us, the 7 doesn't have any uh, non-zero integer values here, so I can just kind of knock that off and look at it and say that without the 200 part, it just becomes 70. So the answer to question 5 is 70. Again, if you're working with multiplying by powers of a, of 10. If it is a positive number, make sure you get a larger answer. If it is a negative number, for instance, make sure you get a smaller answer if that's something that you might see. I don't know if you'll see that or not. And then you just adjust your decimal point accordingly. And if you draw it out like this, it's easy to fill in all the slots with zeros. So you'll know exactly where it's supposed to go. And again, make sure they answer the question they ask. They did not ask for 270, they ask what the value of 7 is. So you need to look and say, okay, it's here. Here's the decimal point, 70. So there's your answer for question number 5.